you know we're always honest with you, and well, Princess is doing this better than Celebrity Cruises. JJ Cruz. What's going on? My name is Jared and this is JJ Cruz. Thanks so much for joining us for today's video where we are talking about the thing Princess is doing better than Celebrity Cruises. We know that there's a lot of competition in this space as there has always been in the cruise industry. Whether it's a mainstream cruise line like that of Carnival Cruise Line or Royal Caribbean International or it could be the premium cruise lines like that of Holland America Line. Celebrity Cruises or that of Princess Cruises. And we've seen everyone come out with new ships, new things, new innovative ideas and ways to sail these beautiful blue ocean waters. But there's something that Princess Cruises is doing that is better than what Celebrity Cruises is doing and we're gonna talk about it today. Before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers and you can be a part of the first 100K of JJ Cruise. While you're at it, hit that thumbs up. We appreciate it. It's free to you, means the world to us. So thank you in advance. We just put out a video last week about how impressed we were with Celebrity Reflection how Celebrity Cruises was doing something that we don't really see often, which is changing an older cruise ship, making enhancements, making updates, and I'm not just talking about renovations. Obviously, most cruise lines renovate, dry dock their ships time after time, some of which even amplify those experiences, but it's usually after a good amount of time for Celebrity Reflection, for the entertainment and activities, improvements and upgrades that we saw on our sailing, that came about 12 years after the ship has already been running, sailing these seas for a while. Well, one thing that we love to see is when cruise lines take feedback, whether that be from cruisers on board, whether it be from viewers at home watching YouTube videos and saying, this is something I love, this is something I hate. When we hear a cruise line see people's comments, see their feedback, and actually enact change, well, we're impressed. And that is what we have to talk about today because Princess Cruises has actually done something that we were shocked by. Princess Cruises' brand new mega ship, Sun Princess, the award-winning ship by Condé Nast, literally just came out this year. It's 2024 right now, and it came out just a few months ago. But within the first few months, there has been a lot of chatter, whether it be from someone like us who were able to go on right when it launched, or whether it be from passengers that have sailed in the Mediterranean or in Europe for this past summer season, there has been a lot of feedback, whether that's great feedback, like this is one of the most beautiful ships, there's so much glass and things to see, we love the dome, whatever it may be that's a positive feedback, there's always gonna be something out there that somebody is saying, you know, this could be better. Now we rarely see a cruise line actually enact that kind of change with the feedback given. And we are happy to say that is no longer the case for Princess Cruises. We have seen already on this sailing huge changes based off of feedback that we gave as well as so many other passengers gave of what they would like to see on board. Now, why were we shocked? Because this happened practically overnight. Like I said, changes usually take some time and a lot of times they don't even happen for years to come. The fact that Sun Princess already has some major changes on board is impressive. And here are just a few of them to show you kind of all of the changes that are happening. But no, there's also a change that hasn't been released yet for the upcoming Star Princess in 2025 that I think a lot of people here will really be happy about. If you watched our review of Sun Princess from earlier this year, you had noticed that there were a lot of dining venues that in our thoughts did not make sense. They were either a little too casual for the type of specialty dining experience you were supposed to receive, or they just didn't really go with the flow of where you should be at that time for dinner, lunch, wherever it may be. Well, today I can tell you there are dining venues that have really taken shape in new places on board this ship. This includes The Catch by Rudy, one of the most popular chefs of Carnival Corp, with a huge 
legacy of fine dining, fresh seafood on cruise ships. The catch by Rudy along with Butcher Block by Dario, these two restaurants were in a location on board Sun Princess that felt like a buffet. It felt like an area that is not meant for the higher caliber of food you are just about to eat. Well, I'm happy to say both of these venues moved to proper locations, and now I can safely say the Butcher Bock by Dario is in one of the most gorgeous settings that is on board this ship. Butcher's Block by Dario took over where Crown Grill was, but lo and behold, the favorite of Crown Grill still has a fantastic and beautiful spot because it took over where the Reserve Collection restaurant was. This is another area that's gorgeous, definitely one of those restaurants you want to book because of the environment surrounding you is just as pretty and beautiful. It really lives up to that high-end, especially dining experience. And so we're really happy with these changes. There are some other changes as well, such as the Sanctuary restaurant taking over where American Grill was on the top deck of the main dining room. But you might ask, where's the American Diner then? The American Diner took over where the catch and butcher's block was, which is a perfect location. American Diner is where you're going to have those eats, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, that you might want throughout the day that aren't necessarily fine dining. Besides that of the restaurant venue changes on board, which we are so happy about across the board, there's actually a change with that of the dome pool. We all know that the sanctuary is an adults only oasis, 16 and up, and that is something that is only reserved for the sanctuary collection guests. That is something that has changed over time from that of the reserve collection. But a lot of people are probably thinking, ah, oh, I really want an adults only pool to really thrive in while I'm on my cruise. Well, I'm happy to say the dome pool, the indoor outdoor pool, whether you want to be inside the dome or you want to be out in the sunlight, you can be in that pool as an adult as it is now an adults only pool on board Sun Princess. This is something I think a lot of people don't know about and a lot of people were a little bit kind of shocked that there wasn't going to be adults only pool available. So this is something we're really happy about because when you take away something from kind of the general public, it doesn't seem right to a lot of people, but when you replace it with something that is similar and still available to the public, that is the perfect compromise to make sure all guests are happy. Now I said that I would tell you something that hasn't been really announced yet that is coming for Star Princess. And that is something we are super excited about and something that we think is kind of getting in line with some of the competitors out in the industry, and that is a smoke-free casino section. And when I say section, I'm not saying just, you know, oh, well, this machine isn't smoke-free and this one you can smoke at, and they're like next door to each other. I'm saying that there's gonna be an actual space in the casino where it is completely smoke-free and you do not have to worry about smelling smoke or being around smoke if you are a non-smoker. This is something that we have seen on other cruise lines because there is a growing trend of people wanting to enjoy their casino experience without the smell of cigarettes. Now we know Princess can't change everything on board constantly, but we are very impressed that they changed some of the things that are within their power today without going to dry dock, without doing any major art architectural design element changes on board, that they made changes happen based off of your feedback. I know there's always gonna be complaints out there and some complaints will not actually have action to it, but for now, at least some of the feedback here for Sun Princess has changed for the positive. And this is something that Princess Cruises is doing better than Celebrity Cruises by enacting these changes on a brand new cruise ship. So I have to ask you at home, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. Do you think that these changes are positive? Do you think that this is actually listening to Princess Cruisers and giving some action to the feedback that has been given? Or do you think this is not enough? There needs to be more changes on Princess. You need to listen more to your clients, your customers. Let us know all your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up on the way out, and until next time, see ya.